Hey, 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 Kaniacs. Welcome back to the King Kane Way TV. It's your boy, King Kane, and I am here today to give you guys a review over Bobby, I Love You, Brrr, Season 1, Episode 2, only on the Zeus Network. So let's get right on into it. I do want to do a memo, though. Guys, please make sure we're washing our hands regularly. We're using um, um, alcohol-based sanitizer. We just all have to stay protected and safe. Amen? All righty. So let's get into it. As you guys remember, at the end of episode one, Jason Wyatt Billy Lee had surprised Bobby Lights with his ex. Andre with the high shoulders and the big tennis shoes. Shit stained eye. <laughs> no, but for real. So Bobby's pretty much still shocked. And, you know, Andre walking around, she, this our crib, baby. This our crib. You know, the girls are looking shook. The girls are looking, you know, annoyed. And just like Real said, well, that's the past. The past was the past. And Andre's just like, oh, no, nah, well, she the past is the present right now. She need to keep talking down on the mind, keep talking. And I'm like, boy, fuck you. <laughs> um, Andre, you used to date Jeffree Star. Word on the curb, Jeffree Star is a capital R. Um, so I'm a little confused. I need Andre to speak on that. I need him to, you know, pretty much... Let us know what it is or let us know what it isn't. Because at this point, it's giving, okay, I dated, you know, the the, 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 the R word, white woman. You know, then I was with Bobby. What's your type? Where do you stand? Do you not have a type? Do you not care? Like, what, what what's going on? Because anybody who dates Jeffree Star. Okay, sorry. Um... Anyways, but shout out to Andre with the big shoulders and the big shoes. Look like he had some type of brown boots. <laughs> Pira. So anyways, Bobby's tired. Ray is tired. R Roller Ray said it smells like boo-boo out here. He ready to go. He's sick to his stomach. He hot. He want to get in the bed. Bobby just let the boys come into the house, whatever. They still couldn't even... Uh, um, find their own damn rooms. Bobby had to orchestrate that. Bobby, you should have known. Dealing with these type of people and Dimitri's boys. People who are not well-traveled. And people who are not, you know, this, that, or the third. People who can only show you the metro and the district. You have to lead. You got to break it down. You got to take them through section by section by section. Because these girls clearly... Don't really have a lot of scruples, okay? And we clearly saw that from the bus ride. Um, moving on. Bobby introduces the boys to his puppy, Birkin. He put Birkin down to see who Birkin would go to. He also introduces his friends to his assistant slash friend who's actually holding Birkin in this moment. The assistant puts Birkin down, and Birkin goes right over to crush the little short Latino poppy with the pretty, pretty teeth. He goes over to him. He feeling good. He happy. He crunk. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, now Bobby is getting to the point where he's ready to assign these girls rooms. And so this is the room breakdown. This is who's rooming with each other. And there are certain ones that stood out to me. That um, I'm hella interested in. I wish I was a fly on the wall in a couple of these rooms. Um, but let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. So first off, Mikey, which is a skinny white boy uh, with the backwards ball cap, um, really hasn't made any noise. But he and Jameson are rooming with one another. Crush and Cash are rooming with one another, which I'm here for. I think they're both hotheads. Well, from what we saw on episode one, they seem to be, you know, two Puerto Rican, Latino, um, 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 hotheads. So it made sense to put those girls together. Um, Crush, love the freckles. I didn't know you had freckles. I really didn't see the freckles. Really didn't pay any attention to you on episode one, but I love the freckles, Crushy Bear. 
Moving on, Anthony, a.k.a. Tony. That's his name, the guy that's in the wheelchair from H-Town that was shot, hit with a stray bullet. Um, his name is Tony, and he has his own private room in the guest house. So, I remember Roland Ray having his own private situation at the guest house. So, is that where all the handicapped people go to the guest house? Y'all can get a mansion with an elevator? Y'all ain't finna wear me. Um, Ike and Cameron, they room together. Bobby called out Cameron for being quiet and not talking. Well, Bobby, did you know that Cameron was all on the bus doing a backflips, backflips, five, six, seven, eight, unique? You see him doing all that over Ike on the bus? So, you know, I don't think Cameron's quiet. I think Cameron just kind of falls to the background. I think luckily for Ike, for him not to fall in the background amongst all these heavy personalities, you got ran over. You know, Ike, Ike, Ike brought flowers. Ike is going to sing on the third episode. So Ike is constantly doing things to be memorable. Um, even though his personality isn't so mm, mm, in your face, pussy hole. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, girls, take a take a note out of um out of Aikisha's book. I think you girls could learn something from her. Um, Bakari and Rayleigh are rooming. Now, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in this room. Just because I feel like they both freaky. Freak nasty motherfucker. Kiss with the tongue. I don't want to fuck a nigga if he ain't hung. Brr. So, I'm kind of like, okay. They're the porn stars. The Twitter girls. The only fan situations, you know, they're rooming together. So, I thought that that was what's up. And it kind of made sense considering their, you know, livelihoods or lack thereof. Y'all see them on the preview fighting? Y'all see when at the uh, eliminations when Bakari popped Rail in the face and Rail got hit and looked shocked and then tried to swing. But it was a bit too late because Bakari had already boom, boom, boom and ka 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 and do, do, do. Ooh. Ouch. Anywho, um, Dimitri walks up talking his shit like, I love you, Bobby. You handsome. I had to handle these bullies. I don't play with that bullying shit. Poop de whoop de woo. So he's going to be rooming with, I don't, I don't remember if it's Grady or it's Grandy, but it's the big yellow one that kind of look like punk. From um, I Love New York, the punk is Jennifer Hudson's baby's daddy. That's who Grady or Grandy gives me. Um, so he's rooming with him. Grady Grandy seems pretty chill, so I'm here for that. I think Dimitri needs somebody who's not going to, you can't get under my skin. Girl, I ain't stunning you. Girl, bye And I think that Grady is perfect. Grandy, Grady, whatever. I think he's perfect, so that kind of made sense. So that left Mason and Zachariah rooming together. Mm. Zachariah, fine. He seemed chill. He got a grill. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, suddenly I want a Diet Coke. Mm. Um, anywho, we don't see where Perry is rooming. So does Perry get a room? Where was Perry? Are we just going to leave roly-poly snack meals out of the equation? I didn't know where he went. Apparently, Andre is going to be in the doghouse slash the couch. You're not getting the room. There's only enough rooms for um, the guys who are here, who signed up, etc. Now, I love the fact that Bobby was trying to be fair. Like, no, you're not just going to come in my room. You're not just going to get a room just because you're surprised and you back. Like, no, you're going to work yourself from the bottom to the top. Now... With that being said, it does seem like Bobby was a little enticed and a little in tune and a little flirtatious when he was putting Andre, big shoulders, big shoes, on the couch. It just seemed like he was, you know, very flirtatious and just loving the attention. And, you know, Andre said, oh, I already hit that. So, I mean, it kind of is what it is. Um, while Bobby and Andre are doing all of that that I'm so bored with, the rest of the guys are going to their rooms and they're getting to know each other. The Puerto Rican Latino guys, they're vibing. They're pretty much talking about nothing. Mason and Zachariah, they chit-chat about the situation. Zachariah said, I ain't got time for all that carrying on. I'm doing me. I'm the queen. And um, I ain't really fucking with these dudes, okay? For, um... 
Cameron and Ike don't have a TV. They don't have a bathroom. And they have no closet in their room. So that's a little weird. That's a little boring. Did they give them the boring room purposely? All I know is I don't need Cameron twerking on Ike in the middle of the night like he did down to the bus ride. <laughs> Anywho, so Ike is pretty much, you know, popping his shit. Like, he's like, Cameron, so how does that feel to notice that, to know that I'm the only person who bought Bobby Light something? You know, you girls arrived empty-handed. You girls clearly don't have a coin. So how does it feel to know that I popped up with a gift. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. Cameron went ahead to switch it. Like, okay, you did good. But do you got beef with Roland Ray? And Ike is just pretty much like, I literally got ran over. So, whatever. Jameson and Mikey talk. Mikey, I love how he was trying to hold Jameson accountable for the hashtag jumping of Dimitri. Dimitri didn't need to be jumped. Clearly, I don't understand why these girls jumped Dimitri. Dimitri is extremely, um, yeah, he causes problems and issues, but I don't think he needed to be jumped. And James is just like, oh, he needed to be taught who to respect. <laughs> so, I mean, okay. Um, Mikey pretty much said, don't jump in thighs, Pira. Mind your business. Um, Bakari and Rail talk. Bakari said that he knows Rail through Twitter because he did collaborate with, you know, Rail's boyfriend or ex-boyfriend or whatever the case that is. So, I'm already gagging at y'all roommates, but not you collabed with his man or lack thereof. And on top of that, you girls are going to be tussling next week. So, what is going to go on? Or one of the, is one of the girls going to go home? What is it giving? Why are the porn stars beefing? Why are they beefed up? What What is this tea? I'm, I'm so, I can't wait to get into that because I am going to gag. Anywho, Bakari did say that Real was annoying when they got to the room because he's like, oh, this ain't big enough for me. <laughs> and Bakari was like, boy, be grateful. I'm sick of y'all, you know, so. Bakari's growing on me. I think he's funny. I think he, 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 yes, he has a lot of tattoos and his image freaks me out. Um, but I think he has a nice personality and I'm here for Bakari. Um, uh, Tony goes to his room. His bestie is there to help him pretty much get situated and just be a confidant. The bestie was also, um, involved in the shooting. He was around, um, he was with Tony when Tony had got shot. So I thought that that was sweet and that was dope. Um, apparently Tony is just going off on a tangent to his good, 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 good Judy saying that these girls don't respect me and this, that, and the third, they pushing me, walking over me when the fight going on and all this, like you girls are going to respect the queen, Pira. And you know, that's just how Tony, um, feels. He also said that these girls were trying to each other, uh, before moving into the house. So who knows? Um, I'm done talking about Bobby and Andre. I'd rather talk about Andre fighting Jameson, which I will get to. Um, next we see Perry, aka Roly Poly Snack Meals, male version. Dimitri and Grady slash Grandy, they talk. Apparently, Dimitri works in fashion. Perry shades him for his fashion. Dimitri throws that shade right back. Well, girl, your outfit is very busy. It's Hot Topic vibes, and Paris like, that don't make my size, and Dimitri's like, aw, and he's like, aw, it's, it's okay, don't, don't be cute, don't be cute, but Perry, I mean, you came for him, you know, you came for his look, his fashion, and he just threw the shade right back at you, roly-poly snack meals, boy version, um, so, you know, it kind of is what it is, Dimitri said, yes, I work in fashion, my outfit was definitely given Miami, it was palm trees, pastel colors, linen, 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 Get into it, get into it, get into it. I said, yes, ma'am, Michi. I love me some Dimitri. Um, Bobby and Ray talk the next morning about Andre coming back. We find out that the ex is the R word, Jeffree Star. Uh, I love how Ray always keeps it a buck. He told Bobby, like, okay, when Andre with the high shoulders and the big shoes... When he came over, you know, when he was a surprise, you know, you, you looked sad, 
but you were kind of happy too. So Roland Ray was just trying to get to the bottom of it. Like, girl, what's the tea? What is the giving? What is the not giving? And Bobby's just like, girl, he gonna have to work for this the same way that all these other boys gonna work for it. And he did see some cute boys. However, it's, they don't have to be more than cute to, to keep his um, attention, which I totally get. Um, some fellas talked the next morning. We got Grady slash Grandy, Bakari, Mason, and Zachariah. They're all out smoking, turning up, past the blood, Zach. Then you got Bakari coming out with the bottle of Duce. Oh, let me get a shot. Good morning. Like, honestly, this is the, the group I would have wanted to be around because they just smoking and vibing. Then on the other part of the house by the pool, you got Andre, Jameson, Crush, Real, uh, Mikey, and uh, Cash, you know? And there was just a lot of drama over there. It's a lot of fighting. There was a lot of bullying. There was a lot of Crush getting thrown into the pool. There was a lot of, you know, tall man versus tall man fighting going on. But you go over here with Zachariah and them, they laughing, they kicking, they gagging. They talking shit about last night, but it's more of a vibe. The other part of the house was very toxic and just very negative. Um, and it was a little weird to me. Anywho, um, Gravy talks about meeting Andre in Vegas before and how Andre was just like this big, big stunt queen. And he's just like, girl, I don't give a fuck about all that. How are you? Nice to meet you. Bakari opens up about being the first straight porn star to collab with a trans girl. What did that have to do with anything? I don't know. But, you know, Zachariah dapped him up. So, Zachariah, Zachariah, are you into trans girls? You know, Grady was in, interested. He's like, oh, in the butt and the this and the that. And, you know, Bakari is just like, shit, all over. So, there's definitely some freaks in the cast. I'm here for that again, which is why I would have been over here with them. They just seem to have more of a vibe than these people. So, it gave what it needed to give. Dimitri came out. The girls are gagging with Dimitri. Grady talking shit about... The jumping and saying that he's going to have Dimitri back. And I love when Dimitri let the girls know. Bobby is my soulmate. We resemble one another. We're both pretty boys. Do you see my eyebrows? <laughs> I love Dimitri. He said, Bobby is my soulmate. Bobby is my soulmate. And I gagged, honey. Okay. Brr. Um, again, Mikey, Cash, Real, Andre, Jameson, they're talking. Um, <laughs> Jameson, I did love the shade he threw at Andre. He called him C-Spot Run because of, like, the birthmark that Andre got right there. But I think Andre's handsome. I just think he has big shoulders and big shoes. Um, but it was just so funny to see Jameson antagonizing Andre. And Andre, like, back up. Don't do that no more. Do that shit again, man. Get, hey, get in my face again, man. And so finally, shit hit the fan. And they threw each other into the pool. All the girls getting on to Crush for being on Jack. Who cares? Y'all probably all secretly on Jack. But like Mikey said, to know that Crush was on Jack, one of y'all had to be on Jack. Crush said he was on Jack looking for Tree. So, I mean, he's not from Miami. He don't know anybody. But the girls are like, girl, you could have asked anybody that's from Miami and live Miami. You could ask Bobby. There's people you can ask on where the gas at, girl. You didn't have to be on Jack. So, the girls were just antagonizing him. I felt like Crush was doing a good job defending himself. But it was weak to me when Crush got thrown into the pool. And he got out the pool and didn't do anything to Jameson. But just the night before, you was all trying to fight the Greek boy. And hitting on Dimitri and doing this and doing that. Dimitri is tall and thick, too. Why Why you didn't pop off on Jameson? Jameson threw you in the pool by your, you know, natural tresses. Love when Andre was calling Jameson Michael Blackson, saying that he's an actress, he's a comedian. Um, I love when uh, Crush was calling Jameson to Wong Fu. So there was a lot of shade being thrown and I was here for it. However, I felt like it was all too much. And it was just annoying, okay? Um, moving on, while all of this drama is going on, Tony and Bakari are talking, 
and taking shots. And Bakari is annoyed with, I mean, Tony is annoyed with the way people have been treating him. Apparently, he's been disrespected and walked all over. Bakari's trying to talk him off the ledge. Like, bro, chill, calm down. It's not that deep. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. And Bakari, this is why I like Bakari, too, because... It's not all about the sex. Like, you can tell that you got common sense, too. Because he's like, bro, you got to be grateful. And, like, when shit go wrong or you just wake up every morning, you just got to kind of have to be like, thank you, God. And I think that that's true. And I think that that's just... I just think that that's a real-life thing. You have got to be... You got to be grateful for the small things in life, Okay. You got to be grateful for the small things in life. You just do. Um, I love how Andre was like, shit, uh, fight somebody your size, Jameson. Fight somebody your size. And so once they tussle and go into the pool and they do all they carrying on, and everybody goes into the house. And that's when we see Anthony, he's trying, Tony, he's checking Dimitri for the way Dimitri talked to him. Dimitri started throwing food and plates of food and drinks and all that at him. Anthony, Tony, he gets on his uh, chair trying to, you know, speed up the fight. Next thing we know, more of the boys coming in the house. So it's going to be a lot of fights down to the kitchen next week. Lord, I don't know what was going on. I lost my mind. But what I am excited to see, I'm ready to see Real and Grady fight. I'm ready to see Real and uh, Bakari fight. And I'm ready to see a little bit more of Jameson versus Andre. I want to see them, you know tussle a little more because I do feel like they're the same body uh, 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 size and I kind of feel like Jameson was literally bullying and intimidating Crush um, for being on Jacked, throwing them in the pool and then the other girls like chiming in. I love how Cash was just minding his business the entire time which is why I really really like Cash. He was just firing up the Kush past the Kush and minding his business. So I was really, really here for that. Anyway, guys, that's my review of Bobby, I Love You. Purr, season 1, Episode 2, only on the Zeus Network. Please like this video, share this video, leave a comment. Also, subscribe to my channel, become a member, become a goddamn Kaniac. Pura! I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Have a good day. Mm -mm 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 -mm.